You guys, we're back with another podcast. We are not in the studio. We are in, um, we're, well, shit, we're with Chito. <laughs> What's up, boss? Undisclosed location. Undisclosed location. Chito made me put on, um, a, a, for what's it called, bro, a bag um, on top of my head before coming here. Undisclosed location, you know, like, <laughs> I had to have sent, like, two <laughs> trucks to pick up my nigga at a McDonald's. Yeah, if I got dropped off at a McDonald's and then... They took me to Home Depot, and then on the on the Home Depot, we bought an extension cord because we yeah. didn't have one long enough, and then, then I got brought here. Yeah. So. <laughs> How you doing, though? Pause. Welcome home. Gracias. You know, like, gracias. You look, bro. You look good, bro. Pause, but you look good. What? You know what I'm saying? You better, you better mean that. Nigga. No, no, I mean, I mean it. I mean it. I look just, good. I mean, you know? me, I came home with my weight back, nigga. I'm, what? I'm fat again, nigga? Like... Come on, bro. Uh, yeah, yeah. I love, I love Fat Chito. When I, I when, when, when I first saw Fat Chito, I was like, that could be me one day. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, you know what I mean? I get you by being fat. Chito in the jersey is amazing. Yeah. Go give me. No, we don't got a jersey right now. You don't got a jersey. <laughs> I forgot I wasn't at my house. Next time we can, we need to do one at my office. At my house. Okay, we could do one at your house. Yeah. yeah. Probably a little far drive, but yeah, we could. We'll figure it out, man. But you look, bro. You're you're back home. Well, you're not literally home, but you're back out free in the free world. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm not. Free, oh, well, not free. technically. Damn, I didn't. I, I didn't. You see, you were hiding that pretty well. Yeah, like, now nah, because it's just embarrassing too. You feel me? Like, motherfuckers be looking at you and shit. You know? You know what? When I was a kid, and and I and I'll be like in and out of house I used to fucking love rocking in. <laughs> you thought you was that nigga? <laughs> <laughs> she was like, oh, he's the man. <laughs> they thought I was a bad boy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> They thought I was doing it up, but I, I I feel that as as an adult, it's a little more embarrassing, huh? Yeah, it's cause like, imagine going to the school, to the school and picking up your kids. That's what I was gonna say. That, like, that's that's what I was thinking. Well, I mean, you already have the face tats, though. Yeah, yeah. But okay, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. This time I came home, everybody just like stares at me a little more. But I think it's more cause the lip. Oh, the lip one does. It gives me like very very like when you did it. It was like, oh, that's that's going to be it for it all. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Do your kids ever question you about, like, the, for the tattoos you have on your face? Yeah, like 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 what I got right here on top of my eyebrow. Yeah. The first day I came home last year, nigga, my, I see my little girl. I haven't seen my little girl for, like, four years. Okay. Right? So she grew up. She's four years old right now. Okay. Oh, oh, so oh, my, baby, my baby grew up. So when she seen me, like, 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 she keeps staring at my face. And I'm like, mama, like, I'm your daddy. And she's like, you're my dad? Yeah. Like, yeah, baby. Like, and she hugs me. And she, she, I'm like, damn. And she just looks at me and she's like, Dad, why you got a birthday cake tatted? I was like, what? Oh, <laughs> I was oh, like, what you mean? Dad, yeah, I was like, oh, oh and she's like, yeah, Dad, why you got a birthday cake? I was like, oh, this little nigga, like, ah. Oh. <laughs> that shit had me weak. I was like, man. But, but you have to give her the innocence, so you probably, hey, fool, you wanna get down, fool? Nah, fool, why would I wanna get down, fool? Cause I wanna get down, dog. Why do you wanna get down, fool? Cause you ain't my fucking hot chero, dog. Ah, uh, flight. Fool, I don't wanna get down over some hot chiros. Are you scared to get down over some hot chiros, fool? I'm not scared to get down over some hot chiros, fool. So then let's get down. Fool, I don't want to get down, fool. The other fool's getting down. That's way better than me, you getting down. Who's better than me getting down, dog? Oh, fool, Chito Vera, fool, and Sugar Son of Mali, fool. Them fools are going to get down. Them fools are getting down, dog? Fool, they're going to get down, fool. Dog, stop lying, fool. On my, on my hipita, they're going to get down, and I'll never lie to you, fool. Check price pick right now, fool. If you go price pick, fool, you're gonna be able to double your deposit, fool. A hundred percent, buddy. Ah, stop lying, fool. I'm not lying, fool. Go to price picks, fool. You could do it on takedowns, how many strikes, how many leg kicks, how many spits, how many attempts. Take out the. Like, went with her. Like, yeah. You know? I just yeah. said it was for her birthday. Oh, okay, That's okay, it. yeah, yeah. And then, and then, fuck What about the hustlers? Do they ever, like, why do you have a monitor? Do you say, like, some cool shit? What do you mean? Like, like for the monitor or something like that? Like, do you ever be like, oh, it's... Oh, no, I just say so I won't get lost. Oh. <laughs> Palabra. Yeah, but it's literally... Because my little girl, she already... She's she been used to seeing me with the ankle monitor. Like, my oldest, my oldest? Yeah, yeah. She already knows. She's like, oh, uh, like, like, dad, so you won't get lost? I'm like, yeah. You know, like, like last year I came but, home, I came home with a fat-ass ankle monitor. Like, like, last time, last time. So you won't get lost. Yeah, so I was like, yeah, baby, I, so I won't get lost, you know? Because yeah, there was times where I, I wouldn't even come home to my baby mama, nigga. I will just be... Go on, nigga, like, go yeah. on. I'll be with Holly, fool. I tell Holly, yeah. brother, I don't even want to go home, bro. Like, I don't want to go home, nigga. Yeah. I know what I'm looking at. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm okay, <laughs> nigga. I'm chilling <laughs> with you. And how's the relationship? Because I know, because especially, I mean, I already asked, like, quote, unquote, a rapper, but before that, you were already doing your thing, right? But, like, 
now as a rapper and like all the things you've gone through, all the things you're going through, how's the relationship where you keep it? I mean, I don't know if it's peaceful or not with the baby mamas, but how do you <laughs> that shit ugly. But but how do you got but how do you keep try it, to keep it cordial? Is what I'm me, talking. this time, last year, I came home. I, if you know this, you came home, yeah, I came yeah. home like, with a little screw and shit. Yeah, yeah, But I came home snapping, nigga, like snapping. You were just Ball, tripping like, KB, head. brother, how was I snapping, nigga? Huz, how, 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 how would I be snapping on niggas, bro, back then? Nigga, but brother, be cool, brother, be cool, be cool. My, my little brother, Demon, brother, brother, breathe, brother. I'm like, damn, <laughs> nigga, I know, nigga, like, fuck that. I'm snapping on niggas on the phone and shit. I'm like, I'm just like irritated, bro. You know what I'm saying? So it's like when I when I would try to call my baby mama, if I didn't have it my way, hey, nigga, call her yeah. back. All right, can I talk to the kids now? They'd be like, nah, nigga, like stop. And I was like, man, fuck that. Like, you know, five minutes later, my baby girl called me. And I was like, yeah, that's what I thought, man. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, nigga, I need my daughter to call me, bro. Like my yeah. oldest, when I was in prison, fool, she would call me every morning before she go to school. I had a phone. You know? Yeah. yeah. So I'd be like, all right, baby, good, good luck at school. All right, click. I know when to turn on the phone. Turn on the phone again at three. She calls me again. Hey, dad, I'm home from school. That's right. Me and my little girl, we got a good ass relationship. Yeah. And just right now, since since I got locked back up, it's like, okay, look, I feel very because like I made a lot of promises to my baby mama before I came when I came home. You know, that last time. The last time. The last time. Yeah. Okay, okay. But I didn't know I was gonna go back to jail. Yeah. So when I went back to jail, I tried to call her and shit. I'd be like, Hey, look, nigga, I'm gonna send you some money. No answer. So yeah. I like, man. I, I'm, I'm done, you know? And then she she literally, like, like switched up on me type shit. Like, she's like, man, you know what? Like, fuck it. So, like, everybody from, from like, like, back then, nigga, that I used to be hella cool with, yeah. I would do anything for them. Anything for them. Like, I'll give them the fucking, like, my last dollar, nigga, the shirt off my back, you know? Yeah. But then, like, when I came home this time, the only reason why I got a smaller circle, I got my little brothers only. That's it. Yeah. These, these are the, the only ones that you can see But these are like blood with. brothers, right? Nah, these are my hood brothers. Oh, these hood brothers. Okay, 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 okay. My little niggas, like I'm about to say, they like, dark as shit. They look wahawking. <laughs> I'm like, y'all don't look related. I can't see. <laughs> I, I, we gonna get this nigga after the interview, nigga. <laughs> no, I'm gonna look some more in a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, look. Okay, yeah, yeah, but dad, that's a trip. So, but, like, so like 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 when I came home and shit, I started saying like, man, you know what, like like bro, like you didn't answer my call even when I would call you, bro. Like I wouldn't ask y'all niggas for shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Fuck, I need y'all niggas for. I would call Demon, always answer. I would call KB, always would answer. This little nigga always would answer. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. So like, bro, we from the hood, we from the same body, nigga. I'm talking about we from the same shit, nigga. And then all of a sudden, like, like bro, like I come home, nigga, this time, and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna focus on me, nigga. Like, I'm no longer gonna put you, 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 you first. I'm gonna put me first, and then you, and then you, and then you. That's the order now, you know? Yeah. So, to, for me to get ahead, I gotta be like, you know what? Fuck that. I gotta be a little selfish. And no lie, since I started doing that shit, <sighs> comfortable like a motherfucker, but, but. But there's certain ones that matter, right? Like, example, right? And this is just me playing devil's advocate. Like, with your baby mama, you made these promises, they weren't fulfilled, so maybe. It was my fuck up. That, that, that's what I'm saying. So, but, so you. But so like, you, like I said, probably. So, did like, you just slightly understand not answering the phone call? Like, you're like, Okay, fuck it. I gave her her space. I gave her her space. But when I went back to prison, I got hit with a gang of child support. So I was like, hey, look. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so I, okay, this is not right. And and when when I was home, I wanted to have that 50 50 custody. Custody, yeah. And shit. Just because, like, like, bro, the only reason I bought a house was so I could be like, look, nigga, like, my kids are going to be good. It's not rented, it's owned. Yeah. You know? Like, bro, I got a fly whip, nigga. Like, like I got like like my kids is gonna be like okay like they're gonna be living comfortable bro are you feel me so it's just like like can you really get mad at me for trying to put myself first for my kids you feel me and it's like my baby mama had that chance when my baby mama was with me nigga she had everything she never had a job when she was with me you know I'm not gonna lie I f- up yeah I cheated nigga like you know but I'm a fucking man bro like can you fucking blame me my nigga like like I'm not I'm not used to being like fucking faithful bro never been faithful you know what I'm saying. So it's just like, nigga, like, 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 if I see a b- when she bad ass fuck, nigga, on the hood, nigga, I'm be like, damn, what's your name? Yeah, it just instinct. But it's just me, though, nigga. Yeah. It's just my attention span, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So in pendejo way, like, if I have something good, like, well, like, 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 you know? Todos, 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 la cagamos. Because she was a great girl, fool. Great girl. She, she is a great girl. She's, she's a great girl. She's an amazing mom. Like, she, she is an amazing mom, nigga. Like, you feel me? She packed out my little nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Palabra as fuck, huh, nigga? <laughs> hold on, hold on, pick up the mic. I want to hear this very good. So, <laughs> no, everybody know who my baby mama is, nigga. So, so she's a she's a great person, but she's also a little slightly crazy. This 
It's crazy. She shot at me. Like, <laughs> like she. So you got the bottom brand called Pro Club. Pro Club. These are my buddies. Some of my best friends. They keep me fresh. They keep me comfort, and they keep me styled. You know what I mean? I love Pro Club so much. My girl one time was like, "Stop wearing Pro Club," and I left her. And I loved it very much, but I love Pro Club even more. So make sure you guys love Pro Club as well. You know what I'm saying? These are a couple options they have on their website. It's fashion, style, streetwear, simple and plain. But don't get the ladies, the fellas. So if you're a guy, a girl, a young boy, a young girl, a tia, a tío, grandma, a grandpa, a mom, a dad, side bitch, side man, a Sancho, a Sancha. Make sure you get your other significant, your friend, your best friend, your brother, your sister, some pro club. You know why? Because pro club takes care of us, people. They take care of me, they take care of you, and they're going to take care of everybody around you. And I'm not even lying, fool. I'm not even lying, fool. Last time, one of the homies was feeling bad about us at pro club. Guess what? That fool was feeling better, fool. He was feeling so much better. He's like, hey, get me more. Here's the website. Go get some. With the business, nigga. Right, she's, she's a great girl. She shot at me before. <laughs> she is, she, she, she's a great mom, you know? Like, yeah. I just, sometimes I love, I love that toxic shit, too, though, nigga. I heard you on the phone earlier. I know, mother. I was, I was trying to eat my burrito. I said, man, Chito here. She's me right next to my ear. I was trying to eat well, what's going on, and shit. But that's one of those things too, where like, <laughs> where where it, it, and fuck, how's the relationship now, fresh out? I know there's no relationship at all. Like I, I don't speak to her. She don't speak to me. Or nothing. Is it just for the? It's just strictly baby. No, nah, the, the baby? way I see, I talk to my kids is I, I go through my mom. Okay, well that's well that's at least that's something. For, at least you're blessed to see your kids, so. and 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 that's what I feel like. If it's just slightly a little more different. From I could tell from when you first got out, cause you got out last time, right? And you, I just started went straight to Wildin. <laughs> you went straight to Wildin, but also, and then you did an interview that that went viral. With criminal? That one, and even the one with Vic. I oh. haven't seen a very passionate interview in a very long time, and I understand you were fighting your demons, but I also understood your pain. And Brother, your it's like 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 you gotta understand, like a nigga like me is. I got, I got the world. Pressure, like the weight on my shoulders. Yeah. You know, like last time I was home, I had all my little brothers. Right now, I got a few missing. Yeah. And they're locked up fighting some real time. Mm -hmm. My little brother's fighting a hot one. My other little brother's gone for some stupid bullshit. It's like, and if I was there, they would they would rather be in LA with me. Yeah. You know? That's why they're here with me, nigga. As soon as I told them, hey, home, nigga, I'm home. Hey, I'm on my way. What? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, and, and, and I love seeing that, right? Because even like me, right? Obviously our lives are totally completely different, but like my homies like, and, I, and if I could tell the experience to get an experience, especially I've heard so many life stories about your life, right? To where like, even with me and my homies, like the little shit, like damn fool, let's go have brunch. Like you ain't never had brunch before, fool. Like, is, let's, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like fool, let's go drink some mimosas. And they'd be like, you never had mimosas? I should have turned your life around, Pop. No cap. I don't even drink, nigga. Oh, well, you should when you look. I, I, I barely started drinking this look, time I came look, home. Look, this is what you do, for You go to a very nice restaurant, right? And it don't got to be a nice one. Let's say, um, Mi Corazon. You pull up on a Sunday around 1 p.m. There's hella cool bitches. It's in, it's in a very nice area. You get drunk, dance with the bitches. This lit, Pops. Never. And, then, and it's a different vibe. Like, even like even now, like, I'm, I'm, I'm big into, like, going to raves and EDM shows. That vibe is different, fool. You're not worried about no fool <laughs> trying to bang on you or get down. Fool that just in there on, on Molly and just vibing, brother. Like, it's a vibe. <laughs> I think and, I and, never and these are lifestyles that. that even, like, me that I had to get used to, right? Like, I was always around some hostile shit. So when my homies started coming with me, they're like, bro, this shit is lit. And you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, just, it's just little different things. So I can only imagine you guys coming from where you guys come from and being able to be like, okay, let's just get away for a little bit. Come to a pad with a pool. Come swim. Fool, you ever swam before? Come swim. Fuck, I don't even know how to swim, nigga. <laughs> this is just for show right here, nigga. <laughs> you don't know how to swim, fool? No, you gotta know how to swim, I dog. Remember one time my dad took me to Mexico when I was a kid, nigga, and I started drowning in that bitch, nigga. It was in the fucking river, too, nigga, in Caracuaro, nigga. I was like, oh, shit. Nigga. Hey, that fool took you to a river. That fool, that fool wanted that shit to take you. Nigga, I was trying to get rid of you. I was like, nigga, I swear to God, nigga. Hey, you I, know what? Let's speak about your Spanish because. We're all really considered Osabos, but you're one of the rare breeds. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, okay. I'm not yeah, saying, I'm not giving you the title, <laughs> fool. What I'm saying is you're one of the rare rappers to where, you, I think you had it. You guys have an extra I got it, I got it, I got it. You're one of the rare rappers that could really fluently, like, fool, you, you, your flow in Spanish doesn't suck is what I'm trying to say. Like, you, all my homies' favorite bars from you are your English ones. It's your Spanish ones. You learned that, how long were you in Mexico for? Or was that like home, super home thought? Ta, ta, what like the I fuck? said before, like 
when I was a little ass boy growing up, I never, like when I was a kid at home, that was a rule. You cannot speak no English in the crib. The mic black. Okay, when I was a kid growing up, yeah. there was a rule at the house. Okay, you can't speak no English in the house. Oh shit, for real? Were you the oldest? Like, like nah, or? nah, my sister's the oldest. And and you guys couldn't speak no English in the house. But yeah. I mean, not, I mean, I'm over here like, donde está el um <laughs> el, con, el, el remote? <laughs> my dad like what? El control, my dad. <laughs> Damn, what the fuck for real? But and, and they were like in for like it was like a like we're gonna enforce this shit. Yeah, like my mom, like she like like like. <laughs> I was just a badass kid too, nigga. Like, yeah, like yeah. I was talking shit too. Like, like I have a smart ass mouth when it comes to my mom, nigga. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I think we all. You're the youngest. You're the youngest. Nah, I'm the middle child. Middle child, okay. Yeah. Yeah, nah. See, I'm the youngest, so I definitely got away with some little smart mark. But, but I'm the only boy. My mama, like, she she spoils the fuck out of me, nigga, for the fact that, like, I'm a mama's boy. You feel me? Yeah, you're the only boy. Yeah. Oh, that's the best. I'm a me too. Boy, me too, you know what I'm <laughs> My sisters, they be giving my mom headaches, and I'll be right there for my mom. Like, like yeah, mom, you, 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 you good, mom? You good? You know, like, that's why, like, like, my mom loves me and shit, you feel me? Yeah, man, I think, yeah, I, 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 I could tell the way you highly speak of her, the way, and, and, and that's crazy to know that they didn't let you speak English, because, I mean, English, because it's usually the other way it's around, my mom, right? I didn't understand it, and my dad felt bad, because there's times that I was like, I was, like, chill, I was a fucking asshole when I was a little kid, bro. I would talk English in front of my mom, she'd be like, what? And I would start laughing, and I'd walk away. <laughs> and my dad got hella mad, niggas like, hey, my started it. He's like, yeah, 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 I fucked it up. <laughs> what was crazy about my situation is that, like, my parents were like, nah, you gotta speak English. Like, cause you, cause you don't wanna, you, I mean, we're, you're fucking dual, um, what's the shit called when you know both languages? Bilingual. bilingual. They're like, you gotta be bilingual, you gotta make sure you're bilingual, you gotta make sure you're, you're fucking, you're on it. And so, I mean, my Spanish isn't, isn't the fucking, is it, it, that shit isn't your Spanish, but yeah, I, like my kids, they're like that. My kids, they're like no, no Spanish. Problem. Yeah, no Spanish. Those, yeah, they speak Spanish, but they speak Spanish to my mom only. But it's like what they know. Like, like one, I remember one time my little kids were like getting into each other. Coco, I'ma tell daddy to chingy you, and I was like, what? Chingy you? Yeah, yeah, like, How like, many kids you have? I got. Okay, technically I got three of mine, but I'm raising five. You're raising five. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Yeah. How how is that raising some that are not yours? As like a man, I know, I know, I know. Like even growing up, right? I mean, like, it's not like me even raising her. It's like I'm not raising her. It's just like I'm being there for them. You know? Like, yeah, yeah. Like the same way my little brother Demon was there for me. I'm there for him. Got money. My brother got money in his books every week. His baby mama got money for the baby. So like then they're good. Hell yeah. So whatever I could do, I'm do it. You feel me? That's fire. Same thing. Like like my kids need me, pops. Like you feel me? Like this is a little little. Less, this literally this is literally my last chance. That's what the judge told me. You know? So, either I make this shit count, or I could just go back to jail for a long ass time. And I've been to jail, Pops, and I'm cool. You're cool. My ass shit. <laughs> it's crazy how you just get used to it. Like, when I went back to LA County, don't matter where you at. I haven't slept when I came home, I haven't slept, right? When I, <laughs> the, day, the day that I was locked up in LA County, mm. I slept like a baby. That was fucked up for me. I was like, damn, bro, really? That's something you think about life real quick, huh? Real quick. I'm like, damn, bro. I'm over here when the first day I came home, nigga, I stayed, I went straight to the shower when I'm washing my clothes in the shower. I'm like, fuck, like, all right, chill, chill. Just to lay down in my own bed, I woke up like, and I kicked back again. I'm like, damn, nigga. Fuck, you woke up and it wasn't trades, it was Chick-fil-A? Yeah, facts. That's a trip though for the two, to, like, like even you saying it right now, like the fact that you're like, I'm just so used to it that, that it just feels more com But you don't want that to be your comfort, though, fool. You know what I'm saying? Like, you want to be able to go swimming, dick, and eat Chick-fil-A at 11 a.m., you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, and yeah. I could tell, like, and when you came home last year, right, I was watching, like, the interviews, and I could tell it, it, was, it wasn't, it wasn't, I mean, fool, I grew up what I, what I grew up around, so I knew, if you could tell when somebody's hurting and going through it. And when I saw them interviews, I was like, oh, he's going. Me, personally, as, like, somebody that's just, like, I, when, I, when it comes to my platform, I'm very picky and choosy on shit. I would have never interviewed you just because that, it just it just didn't it just it I felt like want to do no interviews, I know so that's I know the thing but do you get like, what I'm saying? Or you get what I'm saying? Like it like, just seemed it, it didn't seem like the right time. You had lost somebody. You were going through your own problems, yeah. your own battles. It just it, it felt like, and I'm not saying it was for content, but what I'm saying it's just like it's just it's just me. It's just being around somebody that has gone through certain issues and problems. I, I, plus, 
I'm gonna keep it 100. I didn't want nobody around me, pops. Yeah. I just wanted him around me. I wanted Husky around me. I wanted Demon around me. I didn't want nobody else around me. Mm -hmm. I swear to God. So it's just like when they brought me and me these new people. Even when I first met Nino, I was just like, all right. When I first met Zay too, I was just like, all right. Who the fuck are these guys? Yeah, I'm just like, okay, like I just gotta get used to it. Like this is the part of the team, nigga. Like, yeah, yeah. Get used to this shit now. But then, like, first day I met Zay, we were like, we went through some shit that day too, huh, nigga? <laughs> And I was that when that that moment right there made me realize like, you know what? That's the boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just little moments that I have with you that be like, okay, let me see where you at with me. And if I see like, oh damn, like, shit, okay, you locked in with me. Oh yeah. You know? And since then we've been, I've been sliding with him. You know? I know. Like, everywhere I go, I'm always with my brother, bro. He was there second day I came home. The second day he didn't even come home. The first day I tell him, hey, bro, I came home. He went straight to my house. I know he was. I, he had caught when when y'all caught yeah. when your pad. They were like. Let's do an interview. And I was like, when? He's like, tomorrow. I was like, Jay, tomorrow, motherfucker. And he was like, all right, fine, we're going to figure it out. But I get you. I get you. For, do you look back at those interviews and you're like, what the fuck? Mm -mm. You don't regret any of them. I don't even look at them. You don't look at them? No, nah, because. Did your the only reason why like I did the other one, though, the other one where I'm like spazzing on that shit is because, like, I broke. And I'm not going to talk bad about no man and shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's just. Like, I know when you really fuck with me, yeah. and I know when you just want views. I see what you're saying. That's why I was just like, bro, and I couldn't handle it either, bro. And I'm just like, man, like, just like, him just sitting there and just looking at me, like, 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 it's kind of irritating me. And I was just like, man, like. But you know what? It's, as, as an interviewer, I, I understand both parties. I was just saying as a, a more of a personal thing, I, it was just, it just, it looked like you had to get a lot out of your chest, but maybe that could have been let out in a song. That's that, that's kind of the way I'm looking at it as just like any, but I get it also. I get it. I get it also. Doing this I didn't even have a leash that day. They always have slash when I'm doing interviews. I didn't have no leash, nigga. I was like, man, fuck that. I'm spazzing real quick. <laughs> oh, so okay. So see, that's different because now you're like, you're like slashes in here. I'm about to go stupid right now. But fool, also, I, I didn't like it and I liked the situation. You want to know why? Because it also taught, it showed people how a man could be hurt too, fool. Cause I, I'm, I'm a TikToker, you know what I mean? Fabi up there dancing and shit. I was looking at some of the comments and it was, I was seeing so many reactions from like girls and guys like, this this what the fuck we be going through and y'all think it's just sweet and nice and go chains and we thugging out here. Nah, motherfuckers go through it too. That like, shit, yeah, imagine going, see, but that shit was needed brother, though. You know fuck. what I'm talking about? Going to the store and getting pulled over all the fucking time, bro. Yeah. All the time, just because they know who the fuck you are. Bro, that shit's fucking irritating. Like damn nigga, I'm with my fucking kids and I'm getting blurred. Yeah. You know? Even out here, bro, like police, like last time, bro, they were just like, they was about to pull me over and I went straight to the store. I was like, man, fuck it, nigga. Not <laughs> fuck all that. Yeah, yeah, nah. I was barely on the run. Yeah, um, and 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 that's why there's like pros and cons to everything. And that's that shit when I saw that shit and, and it was going viral, you know, it was going viral as fuck. I and didn't even know. That shit went shit. I didn't ask no questions. I didn't want to ask shit. And I was like, damn, I did that. Fuck. <laughs> move no, on. No, no, no. I was like, move on, block. <laughs> you know how much shit I did? That I was like, I didn't do that. <laughs> you know? <laughs> But the emotions were needed for, and 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 it's something that I think if anything you probably gave more fans from that shit. Obviously, it wasn't the look that maybe you wanted or you expected, but <laughs> it, it, showed, it showed people the vulnerability you have, and 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 not in a bad way. Cause I know growing up, especially right, you were talking about it. For you grew up with you grew up in a house with a man in in the in the house, right? Your dad, he he wasn't showing, he wasn't fucking. Now my dad, he like, okay, look, my dad, he, he's a great man, a great, great father, man. but our relationship wasn't always the greatest. Yeah. Like, he was hella strict on me, bro, but he was, like, hella sweet with my sisters and shit. Well, shit, fool. Right? And I'll be like, man, every time, even when I had a little job and shit when I was a kid, like, when I was working in the fields, I earned, like, like what, $300. My dad be like, give half to your sister. What the fuck, nigga? I, I'm the one in the sun, nigga. I'm the one sweating, nigga, getting all this money, bro. But I love my sister, so I'm here. Yeah. 150. But I was always like that. So that's why that's why now I guess they're like I feel like that's why they're like tripping now because I'm like, nah. My dad last time told me, hey, send me some money and shit. Like, I'm gonna go to Mexico. I'm like, man, it's bad right now, bro. I, I barely put money in my store. He's like, what? And I was like, yeah. Like, I'll just hit you up later, right? And then, cause he hit he hit up, he hit up my mom, and I called my mom so I could see if I could talk to the kids, and that's what my mom told me. I was like, man, I I told her, like, man, I don't got it like that right now. And she's like, you don't got it like that? I was like, nah. And she's like, all right, then, like, and now she hurt, bro. Like, 
Cause I'm like, yeah, mom, go here, then, then, then. Hunt slaps, nigga. Like my mom, anything, go ahead. But now I'm just like, nah, I don't got it. Towards just him or towards everybody. Towards everybody. Towards everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like if you gave me your hand, you got everything coming from me. Fuck, nigga, you ain't even gotta ask. Go ahead. You yeah. feel me? But if I know how you are and I know that you're iffy and shit. And if I know that you talked down on me before, you said ever said some jealous ass shit about me, nigga, I'm just like, nah. And that's heard a little different when it comes from the people that brought you to this world, huh? Tu crees que no? Like, I love my mom's phone. I love my dad. You know? Like, my dad showed me how to be a man. Yeah. You feel me? He showed me how to be a father. I wish I could have been a better one. Yeah. I wish I was more like him. You know, he's a great dad. No my kid, like, and I decided to take the road that I took, nigga, and it's just like, he didn't like it. Because when I was gangbanging, my dad didn't like it. I was always coming home, like, on some bullshit. Yeah. He was mad, <laughs> you know? I got kicked out of school, nigga, so it was just like, he didn't even know for like three months, you know? Yeah. So I was just like ducking and dodging him. And then when they found out, they were like, oh, just gave up on me. And it's like that feeling when your dad's like. But did he ever tell him like, hey, this is how I feel about the way you don't love me the way you love every, uh, nah. the rest of your kids? Nah, because I ain't no bitch, nigga. I ain't gonna let my dad know that shit, nigga. I'm like, man, you hurt me, nigga. Yeah, but it's whatever, it's good, nigga. I ain't no hoe. Cause I went through the same thing when growing up, my dad would be my dad would be smoked out off man. It's cause oh shit. So, so he would just, but when I was born, I was born into him being already a meth head. But he never loved me like he loved my sister. I'm the only boy. He would tell my mom that's your son, like he's yours. That's what my dad so, said. So okay, so so, so my mom so, so that's why I'm relating. So my mom, my mom to this day, and and my mom does a lot of things that she starts to learn. But it's just from where they come from. It's like. I, I I get I get and don't get. Like sometimes my mom will do little shit that she means no harm, but I'll be like, or like she'll tell me about a concert and she'll be like, I see, come on, kiddo here. And I'll be like, <laughs> and I'll be like, you wanna go? Or like, or like she'll like bring up money but unintentionally. But like without saying it like that. And, and she don't mean no harm because my, my, my mom gave me everything I ever needed in life. Yeah. My mom never once, right now, if I go damn near, if I go broke tomorrow, I can move back in with her. Yeah. She ain't gonna charge me rent. My mama too. Yeah, yeah. so you know, so I, I, it's not, but it's just how it's said. When my dad, on the other hand, my dad called one time, and my dad was, he he, he passed away last year. He was oh, in, he was in the drug addict. Okay, Bob, thank you, thank you, thank you. He passed away and shit. Fool, whenever he would call to my sister, she'd be like, hola, mi, como esta? And even if, even if it was short with them, with me, feels like, the minute he found out I was doing something that was making a little bit of money, he was like, si, mijo, si me puedes mandar. <laughs> and I'll be like, yeah, I'm going to match it with your daughter's 20 bucks each. She's like, I'm skin. I'm like, nah. And then, yeah, like, they would never want to ask them then, shit. They would be going to like, you. Nah. But, 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 and, and my sisters love them, you know, but, and I get it, like, your sisters probably see no wrong here that fucking daddy's girls. I was a king, taught them how to be treated by a man. My, my dad never was like, hey, fool, this is. See, see, I'm on the same boat then, because with my BM, I have three. I have two little girls and a little boy. Yeah, for you're a little harder on him. And it's the same thing. He's the middle child. Ah. Oh. So I'm like, I'm not hard on him. I'm just like, I spoil my little boy, you know? But he's a mama's boy. And I'm trying to make him like, hey, brother, like, you a thug, nigga, slide with me, nigga, you know? Like, <laughs> come with your daddy, nigga, like, you know? Like, nigga, I'm fun, <laughs> you know what I'm I'm fun, nigga. It's just, you know it's, but see, you can't blame him because you understand the love of a mother. Yeah. Like, like, fool, like, my niece, fool, like, my dad, the way I saw my dad and my uncles treat their daughters, it was like, you're, for a woman, you're supposed to love and care. Fool, fool, to my niece, fool, she could be rude and not say hi to me when she walks in my mom's house, and, I, and I'll still buy whatever she wants. My nephew, if he, he walks by me, doesn't say hi, I'll slap the shit out the back of his head. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, fool, you walk in, you say hi, fool, like, and he, and he, and I still love him, I still, whatever he wants, I could, I, you yeah. know what I'm saying, but... It's just one of those things. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, like my little, okay, look, you know how amazing the love of a little girl is, of your daughter, the love of a daughter is? When you're gone, like I was gone four years, you yeah. know? When she seen me and I told her, mama, I'm your daddy, her that little smile lit up. She's, she's like, like, oh, she's she's like, like I got one. Like, hey, yeah. I do got a dad, you know? And she like, she's all like, you come back from work? And I was like, no, nah, baby, I was in jail. She was like, oh, what's that? I was like, uh, it's uh, where where you go where you behave bad you go there. She's like, oh, okay. She runs, just walks away. I'm like, oh, damn, these little kids. And then my okay, that's how it was. The first day I came home, I called my mom. I'm like, mom, I'm outside. She's like, come inside, come inside. And I'm like, I came in. My little boy's playing the PS5, right? 
Mm-hmm. My little girl, my littlest one, she over here beating the shit out of a little peluche, a little, little pussy. <laughs> I don't like matching that little guy. <clears throat> you know? I'm walking in, I hug my mom. My, my, my little son's like, hi, daddy. Dad, dad? It runs straight to me, bro. Yells out, yeah, yeah, daddy's home. And my little girl, she just like stops beating What's up What's in the, the first one, your first one? Yeah, my oldest, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. That, that little girl is my best friend, bro. Like... I, I'm like Mr. Perfect in her eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like she she knows like when, when her mom says no, she knows what's up. She knows I'm what's gonna up. I'm going to just go ask that then. She, yeah, and she knows. She, she straight up said it. She like, well, I just asked you to be nice, but my dad said yeah. I was like, she like, well, your dad said yeah. My baby mama called me. Hey, nigga, just because you're home, <laughs> this little girl thinks she could do whatever she want. I'm like, well, she can't. And she's like... Nigga, tell her something. And I called her and shit, and I was like, what you doing? What you doing with your mom? She's not like, well, mommy's not letting me do what you want. And I was like, oh, you, you, why, why, why you doing that? <laughs> and she's all like, oh, cuz. And I'm like, you got me on speaker? She's like, yeah. I don't be doing that shit, though, okay? Like, like on some real shit? Like, you got to start behaving for your mom. All right? I love you, baby. She's like, okay, daddy. All right, go to your room. She goes to the room. She's like, you in your room? She's like, yeah. Like, hey, it's cool. I'm like, don't even trip. Don't even trip. Just you're the reason, fucking. I get, I feel that for. It's because she she knows, bro. Like, there's no no with me with her. Like mm. what? That little girl's my best friend, bro. Like she's my twin. Like it's crazy how she's a little girl, but she's just like me. She like, she talks like me, bro. Like, like say mannerisms and shit. She rude. <laughs> she rude. <laughs> <laughs> she baby mama probably looks at her like, what the fuck? Bro, they be fighting. Yeah. She's like, fuck, you remind me of your fucking father. <laughs> she's like, well, she's my dad. Yeah. Oh, like, she just, bro, she's sassy. Fuck they, 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 sometimes I'll be like, where you like, from? Who are you talking to like this? She's like, oh, sorry, daddy. I'm like, yeah. yeah. Okay. And then your little boy's a little more calm. He's daddy, what are you doing? You okay, dad? Like he's more worried. Like he Yeah, he's oh, he's more, more worried. Yeah, like, like, Daddy, you okay? Did you eat? I'm like, yeah, Papa. Damn, my little kid asking you if you ate is yeah. crazy. Yeah. And what about the little baby? She just beating up at Luchas? Dad! Dad! Can I get McDonald's? Can I get McDonald's? Dad! Dad, I want pizza. I'm like, you never asked me, Dad, am I okay? So when she asked me, Dad, I want pizza. I love you too, baby. I'm home. Like, don't trip. I'm, I'm coming home. Don't trip. Yeah. I love you. Oh, uh, I love you too, Dad. I'm like... Like, you got to force her out yeah. of them a little more. Bro, but my the little dad, boy is like more. My dad, he, even my mom said it, man. This little girl, you got to be kissing her ass, bro. Like, you got to, like. The youngest one. Yes. That's how it is with my baby niece. Yeah, because she's like, she looks at you and she's like, why you just look at me like I ain't shit? <laughs> you know, like, she just literally looked at me and she's like. But that's like baby syndrome, fool. Like, me as a kid, fool, like, oh, sure, growing I up, for I, for I knew I was the youngest. I knew it, fool. My sisters, to this day, fool, my sisters take I care of me. I give me a sweater, fool. That shit cold as fuck. She got cold right on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I know. Like, even me growing up and shit. Yeah, for even me growing up, fool, I, I, to this day, fool, I call my sister and be like, can you make me some webbles? And I'll just pass by her house and pick him up. And she's not going to tell me no because she fucking damn near raised me. So she's like, well, he's my little brother still, you know? Like, my birthday's coming up and they're like, oh, what do you want? Like, we're going to set it up. Just send us what you need and sell us for whatever. And they're gonna, we're going to fix it all up. And that's just something that I, we've always dealt with. So your little daughter's going for sure. Bro, my little niece, the baby one, I got three of them. Yeah. I got the girl's the oldest. I mean, the yeah, the girl's the oldest. And then the boy's like three months after her. And then the girl, and then the baby one right now, fool, she's three, four, just wilding, fool. She's bad. She talks back. She screams. She, don't fool, shit. she don't talk to me unless I show her a dollar or two. She fool, like my niece, come here. Jaylee, oh, come yeah, here. She, Jaylee, come here. She'll be like, no. She I put out a dollar, she'll be world. like, Boosh your sprint, fool. She, she's meant for greatness. <laughs> yeah. For sure she's meant for greatness. <laughs> I fool, swear to God. And, and it's just so different, but I love the way you talk about your kids, fool, because I, I like how you know that each one of them is, is different. They got their own little special, little, they're, they're they're all different. Things yeah, to they're different. Like, you know the little, little one's going to be a little Like my oldest, like, bro, she reminds me just like me because she's fucking talented. She knows how to sing. She knows how to dance. She knows how to do everything. My son, he just likes playing games. He likes playing soccer. He's more mellowed shit. out. He's mellow. He yeah. Likes shit, you know? But he likes fighting. Like, boxing is a boxing might be an option. But I've been trying, but you know. Yeah. Nobody answers the phone. <laughs> so, like, have, have you talked to them now since you've been home? Nah. I'm still like 
I tried, you know, like I yeah. did try. I ain't gonna lie, I tried last night. And it's all right though, like, like, like. Who do you talk to about this shit though? I'm slaps. <laughs> That's it. Like I got in the junior. Yeah. I got nobody else, bro. Like, you know. Shit hard, nigga. Sometimes I talk to my girl about it too, nigga. Like, yeah. Like this shit sucks, bro. Like. Do you think about the shit like I thought this shit about every day when I was yeah. in prison. So the day that I came home, I'm like, man, like, I can't wait till I see them. And it's like, fuck, bro. I haven't even seen them. And do you feel like there's like maybe like a different route that you're that you're that you're able to take? Like obviously you say your mom's just get a lawyer, I guess. If there's no other choice, I'm gonna have to get a lawyer and just fight for my kids. Damn, but even I don't want to do that though. Like that's I want to say you don't want to put them to that situation to where they gotta go. That's That's why. Like, why do you think I? You think perhaps I got the money to do that? You think I haven't? Like, I would have done it if I if I wanted to. Mm -hmm. It's just you think I haven't thought about that. Well, I put my little babies through it. Like they're happy right now. They're happy with their mama. You know, but they would be more better off with me. Yeah, I could give them a life. You know, like, bro, I'm rich. I could give him anything they want. I got a room for my son in my house now. They can't, he can't even sleep in. Yeah. Imagine having a house decorated, bro, and it's like, damn, bro. Like, but walk a- in, and then like you walk out to your room and you just see that room, and you're like, fuck. But there's a thing though, fool. Like, can you give him longevity? Is always the question, right? But the thing about it, I don't want my kids. Cause before I came home, I wrote my daughter a letter. Right. Cause I, I contemplated about this shit every day, bro. Like. Is she old enough for me to talk to her about this shit? Yeah. She's 11 right now. So I'm like, like, I told her straight up, like. Damn, she's 11 for fuck. I remember when she was a baby. Like, that was like my first love, bro. Yeah. You know? Like, to love some, I, I told her, I told my baby mama straight up, nigga, I love that little girl more than I love you, nigga. Like, mm-hmm. this little girl has everything coming for me for life. You know, I didn't know how to be a father with her at the beginning. I was new, I was young. So I, I tried to be there. And, you know, like, while I was with her, shit, I got hella attached to my baby. You feel me? And then when my son was born, I was worried about giving my son more attention than my daughter. So... My being would always get my be with my little boy, and I would still be with my daughter. You know, like I'd be like, hey. I talked to her too. Dude. She was a baby. I didn't even think she would listen to me. I'd be like, man, don't trip. Like you always gonna have me. You know, I would always play with her. Like we would play, like, like I would treat her like a little boy. Yeah, we'd like, be playing shootouts and shit. <laughs> like sad. Like that's my little nigga. Like I love her. You know, like just. You know, like, I feel like if I had that now, like, I'll be way better. I will now feel more motivated to stay out the way. You know? Yeah, yeah fool, but also, you ever heard that saying when they're not watching is when the most important way? Yeah. I think that's I think that's your calling at the moment, like, especially, like, from what I've heard around your team is, like, that you're focused, like, man, like, I, I passed out, I have my moments, but I'm, you were telling me right now earlier, earlier yeah. I'm tired of that shit, I don't want to be in jail no more. Mm-hmm. You know, so like, bro, being in jail, bound a bunch of dudes. Like, you know how you know how bad I wanted some fucking pussy, bro. Like, <laughs> palabra, nigga. Like, damn, nigga. Like, yeah. I tell my bitch, like, damn, nigga, I'm trying to fuck, nigga. Like, I want to come home, nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, fuck. Nah, and and, and I can see it, fool. But I don't know how much of a big believer, fool. But I'm a big believer, and you know what I'm saying. And, and I'm a big believer in believing, fool. I'm a big be- I'm a big believer in las cosas pasan por una razón, you know? And 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 and, and I learned that a, a long time ago from my mom. She like everything you did, everything you do, everything that happens is gonna happen for a reason. And they don't necessarily gotta be with God and shit. She's like, but your life's gonna take its own toll. And I feel like this is just a, you know what I'm saying? Like there's pros and cons to everything you came home for, but yeah, you know your kids ain't running around right now, but soon they will, you know what I'm saying, Padre? Like soon it's gonna be like the time to where. You're going to look back at everything, you're going to be like, hell yeah, like we chilling out. Whether it's for a weekend, 
two, three hours, you don't see them, fool. Like, Ain't no lie, like, and especially where your heads are right now that I'm looking at you, fool, that I'm like around you, your energy, your head's, your head's on right, bro, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like I could tell you want to smoke weed and fucking have some pussy and eat Chick-fil-A and see your kids, like, I'm saying yeah, there's no rap, you know what I'm saying? I want to keep getting this money. Yeah. I want to keep smoking my weed. I'm done with the parks, nigga. Like, that was a big problem back then. Yeah. I'm done with the lean. You know, like, I'm just smoking weed, nigga. Yeah, you, have, you, you, have, you had a weird body with the lean. Uh, yeah. Bro, what? <laughs> I was always, nigga, I'm like, <laughs> I'm done. I'm cool. That's good, though, fool. And, and you know what? Like, fuck it. Like, as, as much as it frustrates me when you fools go back to jail after I interview you fools, I don't want that for you fools, so. Fuck, imagine how I felt inside that holding tank, bro. That's your fault. I told you. The fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck you, nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I could tell the energy, fool, and, and, and I love it, and I love it. I love it. I can't wait for you yeah. to see your daughter again. Yo, that shit gonna be a vibe, fool. And I, your music's only gonna be better. Now, this is giving me, like, Biggie after the car crash, you know what I'm saying? I wanna hear some Sky the Limit shit. Bro, I got some shit. Nigga. You got some shit like that? Bro. Yeah, you feel like play me some shit right now before I get out of here? on the gang, nigga. Like, yeah. I wanted to show you the shit that I was writing right now. Nigga. All right, yeah, that's just, that's gonna be my first day out. When's um, when's the album coming? Fuck, right now I don't got a date for it. Uh, uh, right now, um, I'm working on Hood Reach Hector. You feel me? Yeah. That album right there is gonna be in the under uh, OTR my line. Fire. Signet Columbia, you know, like. Hell yeah. Then you won't get a motherfucker with a record deal. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Get a motherfucker with a good What? <laughs> hey, if if I go, <laughs> hey, I'm just letting you know right now that neighborhood that I moved into was not ready for me. <laughs> Palabra. If 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 I go to Sacramento right now, you gotta recommend me three food spots to go eat out. Where do you recommend? Bramidos. Go. Okay, say it again. Bramidos. Say it again. Bramidos. Bramidos? Yeah. What the fuck is that? It's a Mexican restaurant, but it's Bramidos? in the second set. It's in the That's second set though. Oaxacan ass name. That was your boy from I right said a lot of the food there was good. Bramidos? I don't know if it's still good now, nigga. I haven't been there in years. Bramidos is a bull? A bull, yeah. <laughs> Bramidos. Hey, 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 KB. You don't fuck with you don't fuck with Bramidos? That shit cool. That's huh? cool. What's another two spots? Okay. Bramidos? But I mean, okay, something that's not Mexican. You gotta give me a spot where it's like. Brother, that's all I go to over there, nigga. The Mexican. kicking spot is Culichi town over there in the hood. Bramidos. Like. I've never, I've never even heard that word before. I, I thought it was a name, but it's like a bull, Bramidos, okay. Mm -hmm. So I gotta go to Bramidos. Mm -hmm. What's like a good spot to take my bitch on a date? Let's say I'm, I'm going to the bay and, and I've gotta stop by in the cut. Hey, bro, I, I don't even know. <laughs> that I don't know how to tell you, bro. I just be going to McDonald's with my bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but that was before that, though. That was before all this, brother. I know, but... On the set, now I'm going to take my bitch to, like, 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 like a steakhouse, nigga. Set. No, what's, like, some little cute shit? Okay, like, so I'm born and raised in a good park. We have the ducks on the, in the lake. In the hood. Got, in the hood, Y'all don't got no nigga. fucking ducks in your hood? Nigga, who ain't got no ducks in the hood? <laughs> Palabra, right, fuck we got ducks in the hood, nigga. <laughs> the fuck? But can you ride them? Oh, why you gonna ride a duck? No, right there where I'm talking about is like they have little boats where you and your bitch get. Oh, a... <laughs> no, nah, I'm talking about we, we got, got real no ducks. ducks in the hood. <laughs> nigga, we got ducks like we all like quack quack. You know what I mean? Like, like we quack, got quack. that. <laughs> we got that. You know what I mean? We got those ducks, nigga. We got fishes in the pond too. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Hey, is 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 Six Flags in sack, right? Hmm? Six Flags in the sack? Is it? Nah. Forty minutes away. Okay, okay. I knew there was a Six Flags somewhere over there. Hey, like, like oh, when I was going to County Lane. I saw Six Flags and I'm like, oh, at least I've seen it. You know what I'm saying? Like, at least I've seen it. You never like, been to Six Flags? Never been to Disneyland, never been to oh Six Flags. Oh my God, we gotta vlog this for at Disneyland. Hey, palabra as fuck, I've never been to Universal Studios. I've never been nowhere. Bro, I barely came to LA before I got locked up. That's so like, you gotta go to years. Universal Studios. Uh, you know, Universal Studios a vibe? I like, I like shit. You know what? It's more like of a, you a little bitty, because you could drink in there, you could walk around and drink. Disneyland is like, it's, a, it, it's, it's more, drink. no, it's crowded as fuck. There's, a, there's gonna be kids running around, so you maybe. But well, you know, I'm gonna feel all iffy though. They get like, I hate being around hella people. Yeah, no, no. So go to Universal. Universal's more of an adult vibe. You go there, you drink your fucking, mm -hmm. you drink your, your Simpson beer, and you fucking walk around and get on the cool rides. That might be a little bit. See, now I gotta, I'm trying to think of some spots to recommend y'all here that you can. Yeah, do. we go. We're gonna go with all my niggas. Yeah, no, nah, go, go. It's, it's a vibe. And, and, and it's cool as fuck. You gotta kick it with the Transformer. Go to fucking, um, yeah, go to Hogwarts. You ever been to Hogwarts? What's that? You know, butter beer and and fucking um fucking Harry Potter world. 
was all oh, nah, for you gotta go there. Nigga, I never school. even seen Harry Potter. Oh my god, you gotta watch Harry Potter, dog. One of the homies had a book in there about that shit. And I was trying to read it and shit, but it's like nigga never finished it. So I was like, man, fuck it. Harry Potter is my favorite movie and books of all time. Oh, I even have a lightning bolt for for his for his forehead. I think it said for his forehead. And then and then on my keychain I have a, a little lightning bolt. No, no, no. It's called the snitch. It's called like the little a snitch. Yeah, it's called a snitch, right? It's a snitch. A snitch, like, like snitch, right? the, the nigga told? No, no, he didn't. Harry Potter <laughs> didn't tell food. <laughs> nah, 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 it's, um, so they play a game called um, Quidditch, and the little ball that he has to catch is called a snitch. It's, no, he, Harry Potter that's didn't so tell food. <laughs> if anything, Harry Potter is active. He's getting down with bad fools and all types of shit. Wow, that's what he's banging. He's, yeah, he's yeah, sliding. Yeah, yeah, Harry Potter's banging Gryffindor and shit like that. <laughs> Damn, you ain't <laughs> never been said Gryffindor, cuz. <laughs> Damn, you ain't never been a fucking... Never. I've never, Bob's, I barely came to LA. I never had a fucking um, funnel cake. Oh my God. Only had a donut. You had a funnel cake? We gotta buy you a fucking funnel cake. I had donuts and shit, you know, like. Nah, donuts is cool, but a funnel cake? What's a funnel cake? A funnel cake is like a breaded, it's like a churro. I had churros, yeah, they fire. No, it's like fried, it's it's a trip. And they add all types of shit, it's so fucking fire. You had that shit? Slabs. You you ever had that shit? Yeah, the funnel cake. He said, I got out to stay fair. Yeah, they said I'm like at fairs and shit too. Nah, I never had that. It, it, it's like bread. It's, it's bread. It's bread. I never had a funnel cake. What the Nigga, fuck? how's that funny, bro? It's I was food. in prison. <laughs> That's. That, can we order him some funnel cake tonight? I'm going to sell Zola some money. And we're going to order you some funnel cake from down the street right here somewhere. Damn. Fool, okay. You got to go to Universal, Doc. What the fuck? Let's go, nigga. You been to City Walk? What the fuck is that? You never been to City Oh, he's never gone to Universal. Bro, what the fuck? You gotta bro, like, I would, don't judge me. I'm like, not judging you, but what I'm saying is like, in LA, you got to try the beautiful things that we have here. Obviously, you don't want to go Bro, and man, if, when I'm in LA, bro, I'm like, man, I'm trying to see where the hoe at. You feel me? I feel, no, I get it. I get it. But also, there's hoes at Universal. I mean, yeah, you're right. There's some hoes at Universal. Right. Yeah, but now I can't do that, bro. Days. I'm a faithful man. I'm a faithful you man. You the one that said it. I'm just, I was back then, though. No, that's back then. Now I just want to have fun, bro. Like, fuck. Yeah, nah, hell yeah. You got full, like, I'm gonna send you like a fucking checklist over there. Janino, what's up? You gonna take him to Universal? Oh, come yeah. On. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm here till Sunday. Yeah, Universal's beautiful, bro. Universal. Damn, you gotta go to Universal. That's a trip. Cause I feel like you're like, it's like it's like more of an adult thing. Like yeah. you go there, I mean you could take your kid because they got little kid rides, but it's mostly adult rides. You just get a beer, you walk around, but you don't even so you you can't smoke a blunt there, if that's what you're wondering right now. No, you can't smoke a bleezy. Uh, but you could definitely take a little pen, chill out, vibe with the kids. You can smoke cigarettes on that motherfucker? You can't smoke cigarettes. You know, is, do they have cigarettes? They got spots, I right? mean, I don't even smoke cigarettes, but I was just asking. But I'm, you're saying that's the better option than the other option? I mean, I was asking for friends, you know. Hey, <laughs> um, what features do you have right now in the vault? Because I know you have a lot in... Um, can you give me, like, can, can you give me, like, some cool ones? Who? Some well, features? OJ the sickest. Okay. OJ the sickest. Shout out my boy. Uh, free Lil Sick, Free YG, uh, Free, Free Demon. No, I know you have a Who big else? feature in your phone when you're being, and you don't want to tell me right now. Oh yeah, yeah, I do actually. Can you say it? I'll just, and, and I promise you, I'll bleep it. But I, but I just want to react. Oh, he said, oh, <laughs> damn, that's that's my favorite rapper right now. Both of them. Yeah. Um. Well, nah, I, thought I was supposed to. Work. Okay, the day before I got locked up, I was supposed to work. With yeah, but I ended up going to jail. It's hard. Damn, that one's cool. That's a cold one. Do so you got like any mainstream rappers? Nah. Nah? Nah, nah. Is there anybody you want to work with? I don't want to hear you. I mean, you can hit everybody. I, I mean, mean, everybody wants to work with somebody, fool. Honestly, like right now. Well, yeah, yeah, I do want to work with somebody, but right now, I'll just want, I'm just more focused on, on me and building my brand up. Like, I'm trying to work with my, my little brothers, KB. Yeah. You know, like, I want to build them up. You Hell feel yeah. me? So that's why I have him everywhere with me, so he could, like, at least get schooled up before. That way, when it's his turn, he knows what to do type of shit. You feel me? That, the shit, that's the best part about learning how to, like, maneuver yourself around certain situations. Pretty much, like, 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 once I heard his music, I was like, I think this little nigga got shine and shit. So yeah. I, I brought him on, like, hey, come on, let's go. And since then, he stuck to my side. Hell yeah. You feel me? He's the only one, he's the only one that actually stayed loyal to me. Yeah. Like out of everybody. The out of the rappers, he's yeah, like he's my man, my brother. Yeah. Shout out him, you feel me? Yeah, He got some more. Don't talk about him. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga deadly, nigga. <laughs> Love you. Okay? <laughs> I was joking.
<laughs> hey, you can't lie. My nigga fly as fuck, though. But ugly. It's okay, but that's why he's fly, though. Hey, brother. The, toss the hood at him, hey, nigga, bro, real look, quick. I get it. We, as, as big motherfuckers, we got to be, we got to dress a little nicer than everybody Fuck else. you mean, though, nigga. I'm big and I'm fucking handsome as fuck, nigga. Nigga, look at me. <laughs> look better than you. Fool, you have a fucking, you have a bracelet you can't take off with. All right, chill. <laughs> <laughs> you got me, you got me, you got me. Um, what are your, like, top three type things to do when you're in the studio? Like Smoke weed. Smoke weed, that's it? Smoke weed. Um, eat ice cream. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't just game. Eat ice cream. All right, last time I smelled like seven, eight. Fire. Seven, eight what? Ice cream sandwiches. Get the fuck out of one session? <laughs> 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 Why the fuck do you eat that much ice cream? Fuck, nigga, I love ice cream, nigga. Bro, what the fuck? Like, I love ice cream. You know, one of the homies pulled up and he's like, hey, if I brought you ice cream, I'm like, well, this is like hella random, but thank you, you know? And I ate that shit, you know? Damn, I should have brought some ice cream, would have been eating a whole Tupperware right now, it would have been lit. Well, right? I need a Palatine right now, that little ghetto one and shit. <laughs> Come on. Growing up, what were your influences in music? Um, Chalino for sure. I could see it a little bit. Chalino, the for way you sure. talk shit in Spanish with all that sounding hella rude. Bro, you heard Chalino talk shit? Yes. Bro, he speaks like bro. He a stepper. No, no, yeah. That's that what... nigga, like bro, he talks his shit, bro. He's wild. His whole story's wild. Do you hear like that, like that, El Pavido Navido? I haven't. Have you? you we, we've heard that one, Bedix. Nigga, like, that shit right there, I'm like, oh, what do you say, nigga, right that What nigga, nigga, oh, like, oh, shit. Nah, he, that, that, he, that will talk to shit, so Chalino, what else? Um, Chalino, Big Pun. Damn, Big Pun, fire. Biggie. Um, I love Biggie. I love Biggie over Pac. Mike Jones, like. You know that song back then? They didn't want me. Nah, yeah, 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 bro. I was like, "What about in the Bay?" Because I know y'all got your y'all music history is is rich. Like it's such a beautiful history of music. The Bay, like, uh, obviously you were listening to like the E40s. Uh, yeah, I was like E40s. Yeah, yeah, Mac Dre's, the yeah. Two Shorts. Like right now, like the shit that I listen to right now is like 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 CML, um, the EBK niggas. Uh, Damn, it's crazy because I just like be slapping the same shit over and over again. That's how I be. I'm like, damn, fool. And I told Slaps, like, damn, that's fucked up. I don't know any rappers. I don't know anybody, bro. Like, I really don't know. You know, you, you be you be like in your own little world and shit. I be lost. <laughs> I be like, like, bro, I be like, like. What about in LA? Who's like your favorite right now? Maybe not favorite, but who's like somebody like, oh, shit, it's, it's, it's for you. It's something that's more for you. OJ, Big Swift. Shout out Big Swift. Uh -huh. Heard y'all got a song together. I heard that motherfucker. Uh, that shit hard like a motherfucker. That shit. That Shout shit. out Rose Crash Vic. He be the one that put me on. Yeah, shit, I'm my nigga. <laughs> nigga. I love that nigga, bro. I swear <laughs> to fucking God. Y'all make swear. good music together. Yeah. I fuck with him. Who else? Who else? Uh... I'm oh, talking about that fucking guy. Hey, I was just talking about you, nigga. <laughs> hey, what's up, brother? Now nah, pull up. You can come say hi. Not the white tea, cuz. Uh, you come say hi real quick. We got Big Swift in the fucking hitting the cut real quick. What's up, Bobby? What's up, brother? What's up, brother? Hey, what's up, uh, nigga? What's up, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Well, fool, thank you for doing this interview with me. Man. I know it's super last minute too. And, nah, nah, and, I, it's like the reason I like, okay, look, there's some shit I have to be forced to do. Which which is understandable. Yeah, but have... I wouldn't I do it for nobody else but him. Slaps. I was just like, all right, fuck it. Man. Yeah. Let's go. But like, 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 if I fuck with you and, and, and like, like, I really fuck with you, like, yeah. bro, that's cool. I'm not even tripping. Nah, nah, I, I let it. I not care if it was like, if I was asleep when you came and, and then Slaps came in, he's like, bro, wake up. He's here. And I'm like, damn, nigga, who's here, bro? Like, Bro, I slept at 7 in the morning. I know you were telling me. Yeah, I walked like, in because we were running late. I had to show at a certain time. We were running late, and I was like, fuck, this was probably going to be like, you know, rappers usually are like, ah, ah, just fucking, you feel that mad at the world for some reason, right? I'm just and, chilling. And I, you just said, I walk in, you're like, hey, do no. 
Hey, and, then, like, <laughs> and then you asked out for some deodorant. We got you some deodorant. And you're like, let's run it. And then we ran that motherfucker. So that was a good time. Oh, yeah. But I'm, I'm, I'm glad you said yes. Because like, I, I didn't even do my hair. Like, you look good, fool. You look sexy, way. They, girl, they're going to love you. They're going to love you. You want to give a shout out to anybody? Who would you give it out to? Free Lil Sig, Free Lil Demon. I mean, Free Slick, Free Doughboy. You feel me? Free YG from the Ghetto Family. I mean, it's free the team. You feel me? Like, Shout out my mama too, nigga. My mama. She, Shout out your mom, she, man. Yeah, she, she supported, nigga. Shout out your kids too. Shout out my babies. Kids. Shout out all my babies. Shout out fucking Bermidos. Bramidos, yeah. Shout out Bramidos. <laughs> Shout out the ducks in his hood. Yeah. Over there quacking and getting active. You know what it is. Squabbling other ducks. <laughs> <laughs> this, has, another duck. this has been another episode of Cheese Man with Duno. Make sure you guys go follow Chito Ranas. All his information is going to be in the bottom. By the time this job, he's probably not still not going to drop music, but just pay attention to when he does drop music. Yeah, like, like I, I, I probably, like... So you probably have a single. You're probably have a single. See, yeah, maybe. Because maybe, maybe. that's the whole point. Like, I'm going to drop a, a, the first day out, you know? But, okay, yeah. but I'm just like, bro, since I came out, I've been super lazy, huh? Like, so he's like, yeah, like, it's irritating. <laughs> I was like, I just be like, damn, nigga. Like, I told you, since I came home, this time I got the attention span of a squirrel, nigga. I'm just like... <laughs> I'm doing something else, bro, and then I come back, and then I go back away. Palabra, that's what? Hell yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Well, I, I wish you nothing but the best. I wish you three Likewise, sums. Likewise, brother. Likewise, you know? I wish you three sums. I wish you more money. I wish you Likewise. better food than Chick-fil-A, because if you're feeding you Chick-fil-A, that's bad for you at 11 a.m. Can we get my man some huevos con jamón? Hey, on the game, that's what I like. I was like, damn, in the morning I woke up like, damn, I want some eggs with like a fat piece of cheese at Cotija, nigga, with some beans and like that. Yeah, nope, dog. Your homies want to go get Chick-fil-A sauce. <laughs> uh, you know what's fucked up, nigga? I didn't even eat yet. <laughs> yeah. and, and you know it was crazy. I caught him. They're like, "Yeah, we're getting Chick Fil A, dog. Deluxe oh. sandwich, large everything." Damn. Free brownies with the large. This nigga says it like, 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 with no shame. Like, yeah, nigga, I ate that. Like, <laughs> this has been another episode of Chismo and Duno. Make sure you guys go follow Chito. Yeah. Man, shout out the sponsors, Pro Club and motherfucking Big Chi. Make sure y'all go tap in with them. Shout out. Oh, this price pick. Use code Duno. Description is in the bottom. Make sure you guys go double your fucking deposit. Shout out Mr. Mushy. Use Code Duno for that. Shout out Hidden Hills. Use Code Duno for that. We out this motherfucker. Bow.